Hey, Turtle Club, good morning to you. It is 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this wonderful Sunday morning. And it means it's time for some more Mad vs. Wild, which is our stream series where we're playing on our Brutal Arc Valve Hero server. And we are, we've got some, 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 got some changes that we did a little bit. You know, last, last week, we're talking about the fact that we, uh, well, Point blank, we had the, the growth just all sorts of weird. We have since adjusted that the growth is actually a lot easier. I uh, easier for me to to lose my mind on. I did plant these um, citrus. What are they called again? Uh, the citronol, not citrus. Citronol. I planted them about two hours ago. And it's already yielded a little bit of fruit, not much, but it's not it's not just immediately poof went in it. We got stuff. Uh, these narco berries I just planted right before we went live uh, by about eh, about a minute or so. And those narco berries we have uh, just just started to get the little pieces of sprouting. So uh, a couple things we have been working on. Uh, a little bit on the base, not too much. Making some supplies, uh, grinding out necessities like uh, dark and the, the like. Um, but the see, we've been growing lemons for a while now, so it's it's actually requiring input from players. It's actually requiring some fertilizer to actually be created, and crafted, and made. So we're getting some progress there now. That's the first thing. The second thing is we've actually had some players join, uh, so that's super awesome as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we did have uh, two players that I didn't understand who they were join, uh, which is way awesome. It is an open server. It's public. It is a family-friendly server. When you join the server, it says it's family-friendly. Um, it mentions to people, you know, as soon as you log in, that you can be banned for not adhering to that. Had two people joined. We had one person banned. We do not allow uh, certain names, and they definitely came in with one of those names. But the other person, one free to play. Uh, one person joined for like 40 minutes and then left, and the other person joined for like 15 and then left. And most likely, what happened? What caused these people to leave? As best as I can tell, and it happens all the time on Brutal Art, is people come in. And it says that you have to have a claim patch to build. It tells you all this stuff. They super level because there are people, there are people in this game on regular normal servers that can get to tech tier within a day, just super locust grind. And they'll come here and they'll be 20, 30 minutes into the game and they won't be able to place a base because they'll go over and they'll craft it and they'll try to set it down and all of a sudden they'll be like, wait, why's it, why is it not working? Why is it not working? Okay, clearly this is a troll server and then they'll, you know, they'll jab. They never they never stop to understand the mods that they're downloading and installing on their system. Alright, so Miles it's let's just pick up some of these. Now I believe Rose has to actually have a mate nearby to lay eggs, but I could be wrong. I don't remember if they actually have to have the pair bonus. But that was uh, as far as as just random people go. We had like I said, we had a couple join, but we also had another player in the the Dino Hunter Club join. Uh, Keo has started playing on the server, and so really awesome. Excited for what Keo might get into. But yeah, all right. So what are we going to be doing at the moment? We are. Let me still exploring in this area. I, I really feel like to the south may yield some sort of positive good stuff for us. So that said, I'm gonna grab some steak out of here for our dino. I'm gonna grab some cooked steak for us. I'm gonna come over here. It's not there. It must be here then. I'm gonna grab us some water. Oh, there's some meat. Oh, spoiled meat's some of the best stuff on the earth right now. Because we need the spoiled meat to be able to 
make the narcotics that we're trying to make so we can keep up with the mechanic demand. Alright. Let's just go ahead and tell this to craft all those. 14, alright. We'll let them very spoil a little bit. Alright, so... Uh, while we were sleeping and stuff, the server does continue on. It's a persistent server, so these dinosaurs that are just chilling, they do get some level ups. Um, Rose has got 400 pound carry weight now. She's got a little bit better melee too. Stan, Stan's not leveling up as fast, but he's also gained quite a bit of number of uh, levels since we last you know, started messing with him. The biggest thing that we did off camera is in our little base here, we got and built us a an upgrade station. Upgrade station allows you to take items of a certain quality, like say my scythe, and then you can click on it and say attempt upgrade, and it'll tell you if you can make the upgrade or not. So I need 20 more metals, so I'm just going to show this off for those that may not be familiar with the mod. It is a... I don't quite want to call it a quality of life mod, but it basically is. Uh, providing you have materials to do crafting with it, I guess. Uh, let's get the scrap metal. Let's get that real metal. Is there wood in there? Did I see wood? I sure did see wood. Alright. We need... And there's some raw metal. Alright. And what about in here? Uh, okay. We're going to put that in. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong thing. Here we go. This forge. We're gonna put that in there. We're going to light that up. We're not going to have the 20 metal anytime soon, though, it looks like. Oh, here's some 120 there. All right. So that's that's going to start gonna start doing that. The other thing we did is we opened up a service window here. That way we go gathering on, say, Rose or Stan or somebody. We can open that up. And we can actually reach through it. I can show you guys that on the other side a lot easier, I think. So over here, open the window. And then we can access... I just did it, like... Wait, am I done? Alright. What's going on here? I, I just did this not too long ago. There we go. And you can access this window so I can drop stuff in and out. I'm, trying to, I'm not sure why it's acting like that though. It's weird. I was I was able to just get in there without any problems. Oh! Game has, once again, broadcast our coordinates to the world at large. Keep leveling up, keep leveling up. The other thing is we got a perk here that we've activated. It is an experience called Rapid Discipline. It's supposed to actually generate every six hours. It'll make us a consumable. We got that turned on. We should get a consumable in here because we activated it. And once it comes back again, we confirm that it's working right because there's been a couple of players that reported it's not working right. I will be able to show you guys a little bit more how that works. All right, so we got some of our, oh, that's the other thing we'll need. We're gonna need to be able to shoot things. Where is our arrows at? There's some arrows. I don't feel like we need a whole lot of arrows, but just enough, just in case. And at some point, we need to make us a soul gun. We need polymer for that. And some other things. Wait, didn't we have didn't we have polymer in one of these boxes? We do have polymer in one of these boxes, alright. So we need 20 metal ingots, we need cementing paste. Morning Sally! Okay, so cementing paste. Polymer. Nowhere near the 20 metal ingots like we thought. Ugh. Ugh. And 
and I don't see any metal. I didn't misplace it by accident. Wait, 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 wait. We have we have metal in there though. That's right. So we'll take our scythe back. I uh, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I I had a minor headache earlier today, but I was I was pleasantly happy with the fact that it didn't stay that bad. All right. So the rest of this that we don't need, we can put back in this little bin. So put that away, put that away, put that away. All right. And I'm mainly getting this gun um, so I can, if worse comes to worse, and I knew he was going to drop something, wanted to drop, they dropped some fish meat. If worse comes, yeah, me too. I uh, if the very worst happens and we're about to go down, and it's just gone super south on us, we want to be able to get this gun out real quick and shoot him before we die, so he doesn't die. That's I don't know. I can't say for certain. If we'll be fast enough to save George. But we're going to try our best. We're going to try our best. Alright. Speaking of old George, let's go ahead and up George's stamina. It's carry weight. We can, we can get a little bit of, of stuff. Alright, again, we're going to kind of go exploring to the south. We know that this server can be dangerous. We know that the settings for this server indicate that it could be very dangerous. And now that we're actually above level 1 on Brutal Arc, we now have to deal with a much, much worse stamina drain. You'll notice we have what's called the Brutal Burden. So it increases our stamina while we're on our dino. So where we were really able to fly around and do a lot of stuff, and we were getting it, you know, we were getting a considerable stamina drain. Now it's going to be far, far worse. Look at that. We're already at a quarter. A quarter drain. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, that's a micro raptor. Oh, we don't even want to see that. We so didn't want to see a Microraptor. Look at it over there. You can see it right in the corner, guys. So Microraptors can and often dismount people off their mounts. We're going to, so we're going to have to be really ninja-esque at this point. We really can't afford to lose all of our stamina. But we're not hitting shift or anything. Just watch that stamina bar drain. to kind of sneak around and just be real careful. We have to start looking at like when it gets about this high on our stamina, 
we're gonna have to start kind of carving out where we think might be a safe place to land because it may take a considerable amount of our stamina to even get to that location so right there is the Diplodocus. And we normally, in an ARC playthrough, we don't tame them quite often. But, one thing that one of our actual uh, Discord members in one of the ARC servers Discords, uh, Dark Arts, uh, he discovered that the Diplos are not on the menu for a whole slew of dinos that are considered predators. They're just considered way too big to be eaten. So what that means for us is if we can find one of those within our actual level range and tame it without getting wrecked, that there's a strong chance, a very large chance, that we can go around the, this area free and clear. It won't be actually just attacked. Man, this looks like way too much redwoods for this area. Way too much redwoods. I'm gonna have to start thinking about making it back because Yeah, we're going to need something a little bit safer to explore all this with. Oh, and there's an alpha. That's our cue to be very careful in this world. It's an alpha carno. Sure is. It's only level 60, so that's not too bad. But if you recall earlier in the stream series, Turtle Club, it took everything that we had to even try to get that Alpha Carno, and it finally just moved on. A little bit of a graphics glitch right there. Chilling and not chilling at the same time. All right. Once again, we gotta be careful about how we explore around here. Every last one of these places could be the last place we wind up landing. Trying to make sure we land. There's plenty of, and by plenty, I mean we're you know we're talking just. Just a little bit of stamina for us. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't be trying to land on the ground. The floor isn't necessarily snakes around here, but it certainly is lava at times. Alright. Yeah, Sally, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I, it felt like uh, the beginnings of just a really throbbing kind of migraine. And I think it may have been because I was staring at the computer screen an awful long time. I've been trying to get Clarence Bot repaired. And I th think I got him back to how he was before I was going to try to start building the, the 2.0 stuff. And so that's that's a huge thing in my opinion. Especially with as close as we are to completing a case of deal with Lyme. Okay. Right, so we know that's our exit through that area right there. There's a Diplo right there. Just don't know. Mom. 
why? Oh, there's a terror bird. Okay. I think we can land around these rocks, though. So look at that terror bird. They're, they're really kind of pretty once you get up on top of them. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Those bugs, the, the debuff they hit you with is a stamina drain. Oh, we gotta... We gotta hope... We gotta hope the bee... Are they still on our tail? Alright, looks like we might be safe. still listen to the sounds of the water and hope those bugs haven't haven't caught on this all right our base is down that way we didn't really get a whole lot done all right well, at this point here we're gonna start flying this direction Still doing good on food, so we're good on that. Alright, so what we're gonna do then, um, because south was clearly a mistake, we're gonna try to go west, like 50 20, 40 20. And yeah, we know for the most part, because this is the area we've been kind of scoping out off and on. Most of the stuff over here is, for the most part, over here is, for the most part, pretty safe. So we feel okay exploring this a little bit more. See, there's some Triceratops. These things usually don't take anything from anybody. peek here. There's some aggressive stuff over that way. It's not too horrible. Okay. Hmm. Well now. Oh, there's some there's some terror birds there. That's that's definitely outside of our comfort range a little bit at the moment. Oh, oh, my tribe leveled up to level two. Okay. Well now. And this looks like some metal and some obsidian. I don't see anything that's going to kill us by trying to take it. Man. Turtle Club, we found the spot here. I mean, look at all this. Okay. Now, do remember, though, our... George over here. You can't carry too much. But Obsidian's gonna let us start making polymer. Look, he's just about over encumbered. We did get 43 subsidian, 25 metal. Alright, so this is actually not a bad place at all for that. Like, wow, okay.
really good to know. Dons in the area too. I gotta remember how to tame a Dimorphodon because those will be very handy. We can make this a Dimorphodon tower. Very handy. Alright. So we're gonna take all of our stuff we got. So we, we found the place where we get obsidian. He's not following. Alright. So now we know where we get obsidian, so now we can actually start using the obsidian for things and stuff. And oh, there's where my other raw metal was. It's like, where did all my raw metal go? We tried to feed it to a monkey. That's what we did. Alright, light that fire. Now the monkeys, uh, if you recall the last Brutal Art server had the auctioneer exchange, and we just imported that over with the same settings we were using previously. These guys can make change for people that need to sort things between people. They also take dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones still spawn on the server. So things like Freya Curry, Focal Chili, uh, Shadow Steak, and even the Mind Wap Tonic. If you can get enough bones to your local neighborhood monkey, wherever you decide to build him at, you can actually make some really important chow. Meanwhile, this discipline here, we've got about three more minutes, and we'll see if it actually turns itself on or not. We also have another perk point. We don't want to use this perk point, though, until after this creates, because I don't know how the system really operates. So we want to we want to give that some time. Alright, so that's a level 200 Tranodon. Which would... okay. I kind of feel like we want to try to catch that one since we got, we already have one. Um, let's. None of that's going to help us. Our, our venom arrows, bolas, smash a mark, and. If you are on the Turtle Club server, this server here, if you are just joining to join, daily reward, once you get the auto rewards, give you Arc Bar, a Hesperonis Egg, a Snow Owl Pellet, and some Prime Meat Jerk. If you are on our Discord, you also can get another Arc Bar, another Egg, another Owl Pellet, and cooked Prime Meat. If you are one of our Dino Hunters, meaning you have access to all of our actual mod, uh, servers on Discord, so that's the the island and this one for now and it's soon to be the bonus island that I've been working on. You can actually get this particular pack. And if you oh that right there's bugged. Purchase. Alright, so you do get four arc bars. So four bonus arc plus all of this. So where did that thing go? Is that where is that what the one was looking at? That's the level, uh, level 60. Alright, so where did that level 200 go? We are really hoping to get a chance. Is that the 200? That's a 400. Oh, man. We had this perfect 200 in our grass. And we went to get supplies. And now it's gone. That's got to be that 400, right? Yeah, it's still at 400. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's it? That's it. All right. What is an arc bar again? Hey, kitty! An uh, arc bar! So, every, uh... So, the way the server works... In. Give me just a second here. One moment. 
here, put my head like right there. Had to block the console for a second. Glad to see you this morning, Kenny. Alright. We are going to be able to get into this here. Alright. So in the admin menu, you can see. Uh, so there's player identities, right? So I have 55 arc. I got 14 income. Uh, McAdoo, she's got 209 act, 14 income, and that is every week of gameplay, someone's getting 14 arc. Now the arc is what you use in this reward menu to buy things. So like if you're getting the starter kit, you can use one arc bar. So just coming on the server, and you'll get a storage box, a water skin, some meat, uh, pieces attached to build your base within a campfire. Requires you be at level one. That's all. Um, if you save up and save up and save up, though, you can get a Phoenix for 200 arc. And so it's just a way for people that play the game on our server for a lengthy period of time to be rewarded. That's mainly what an arc uh, is. That's a 340. Oh. 340. Oh my gosh. The server max is at 350. Oh, I really want to tame this one, Turtle Club. Oh, wow. I, it's going to take forever for it to land. And we may not be able to bolo it. It's not. For, for that reason, we may, for that matter, we may not even be able to drink this thing. Got some nice red coloration. How big are you? You're 340 as well. But you would be very mean trying to tame you. And Turtle Club, if you don't know who Kenny is, Kenny the Neo Kid is an awesome streamer. Uh, he's not family friendly. Um, things do get very real on his channel at times. He plays a lot of a lot of games. Really good Nintendo Switch player. Um, Really good Smash Brothers player. He, he skunked me the other day. I was actually on his channel playing with him and some of his friends. I I gotta say it, it was it was fun though. It was super fun. I, I wish I got more opportunities like that. Wow. Flew up into the sky. Oh, there it is. There it is. Come on. Come down for a landing down for a landing. Let's make sure you are the 340 we, we were dreaming of. Oh no, not this again. There we go. Oh, we got it down? We got a couple crits? I, I will take a lucky crit any day of the week. I will take a lucky crit any day of the week. Oh my gosh. Okay, so all we gotta do now is babysit this thing and hope it, it okay, and let's see here. Stamina is at 562, weight's at 240. So 562, 240. Those are the two things that we're really concerned about with the flyer. So let's check what our flyer is at right now. She's at 816 and 203, and the stamina goes up fairly quick. So I think this is actually going to be a, a good thing for us. All we got to do is make sure it stays alive. All right, and it's not losing torpor too fast. And now I'm, now I'm greatly, greatly, greatly trying to remember 
is it in fact to uh, 350 or is it lower than that I'm double checking my own server settings yeah 350 so it's 340 so this should tame for us Man, that's gonna be such a nice addition to our server our little stable of dinos And it's a female too, which means it'll start flaying its eggs. Which means we can also breed it with our male that we have. Alright. So, what do we really need to do right now? We need to get rid of these eggs. rid of the super fertilizer so let's get rid of the eggs for now put them in this storage just barely enough room in the storage and because our our main goal is to keep growing lemons we're gonna keep this stocked since we started streaming today, guys, we've gotten two lemons. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Could be much, much better. But it's not. It's not horrible. All right. Oh, look at that! It ate one piece of meat, and it's gained ten percent. This will work. This will work. Okay. You're level eighty, which we don't care about. So in arc. There's a thing called Taming Affinity. Um, those that aren't familiar with the game, I know there's a couple that aren't uh, totally familiar with the Nuts and Bolts. Uh, taming Affinity is 50% of the dinosaur's level gained when it's tamed. And so you'll see right here, it says plus 169 because we're at 99.9%. It does round a little bit. But this is the amount of levels this dinosaur will gain as soon as it becomes ours. Oh, we don't want to shoot that thing at all. Alright. And so as it tames, the longer it takes to tame, the more its effectiveness will drop. And the more damage that's been dealt, the more its effectiveness will drop. So if we were in a slightly more dangerous area on this map, we would have to drop um, protection down for this thing. Because it'd have to, you know, not get hit, not get attacked. The fact this thing wandered over into our little area over here, pretty good for us. And again, the coloration on it, it's pretty good. I gotta admit, it's it's rather rather awesome. It's got the the flames. Oh, there is a couple bones for us. We can go around run them over. We absolutely will. Him the bones key. Bones take forever to spoil, so don't worry about putting them in your monkey. He will absolutely keep them for you. Alright, and while we're doing that, we can go over here and show that. So this is the upgrade system. You put in the materials you need, click on the item that you wanted to upgrade, and just to show you again, if you don't have all the materials and say attempt upgrade, it'll tell you what you need. And when you put it in there, click on attempt, it's going to try to upgrade the item to a better quality. In this case, we succeeded, and now we have a, instead of a common sickle, uh, or just a, what they call a primitive sickle, we have a ramshackle sickle. So it's slightly better. It does a little bit more damage, which in the sickle's case means it's going to get us a little bit more in terms of uh, fiber gain when we actually use it. So notice our blue item for our crossbow. Right around here you can see it's a blue glow. And right here is another blue glow. Coloration of the blue green dino I see walking around is very pretty. Um, oh, you mean, is it this one here that we're talking about, Sally? This robotic one with all metallic colors? Or that one, it's, it's tiles are looking pretty snazzy. It's a 
the robotic one looks very, very uh, striking, I think is the word I'm looking for. Feed this one a little bit of the, the sleepy juice. Yeah, the tech one. Yeah, the, the tech dinos, they are really nice. I like how they got the metallic look. That's 384, though. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to tame this one. All we would be able to do is kill this one. And it's not a bad idea to kill the tech dinos because they do drop um, dust and ore and uh, metal and electronics. So when you cut their bodies, instead of getting meat and, and leather, they finally did update that in art to where you get something that's more sensible. 33%. This thing's taming so quick for us, too. Alright. So you'll notice... This is the other really cool thing, right? Is we're, getting, we're getting a little bit of fiber out of these plants. But... That gets a whole lot of fiber. That's what, about 30 fiber a shot? Very good for us. But yeah, the tech one, I, it would be good to kill it, but it's... It's pretty big. Most likely it'll run off before we get a chance to actually put it down. See, its effectiveness is at 99.6. You can see after we've spent a little bit taming it, it's dropped. Uh, it's going to take a little lengthy period of time because once this raw uh, primate goes away, it'll no longer be uh, taming as fast. Female Stegwa at 340. Yuck. We would like to be able to tame that. Uh, we know it's going to take quite the, the trap and quite the number of arrows. We do know that if we are able to down a Stegosaurus... Oh, here's some more bones. If we down a Stegosaurus, we could get a... a, uh, a considerable amount of prime meat off of it, like two or three. I don't think it's worth the potential death, though. Alright, so let's go in here. Look, one out of six. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So, we have a consumable now. And we can put that in our bar. So by consuming this, this will increase all experience gained by 50% for five minutes. Usable by humans or dinos. That's, that's the key. Usable by humans or dinos. We're gonna... Alright, and... So we can actually level this up. So if we go up again, it's going to increase all experience gained by 75%. So we're going to purchase another perk point. So in another six hours, we're going to get a consumable that's a 75%. What's this one say? I'm curious what the one we have in our inventory says now. That's what I thought. Okay, so it reset the time and everything. All right, so that is that is one of the things that these levels do. Um, number one. Number two, we got to level up, so actually we can actually now go to adjust claim area. We can increase size to 10, increase size to 11, increase size to 12, 13. We are at the maximum size of 13 now. So our claim block, remember it was a little, little small, show claimed area. Look now, guys. We now have... A considerably larger area that we can claim. So one thing that we will probably start doing when we get back to building a little bit is we're going to work on uh, I don't know maybe making a, a new floor that comes out to here and possibly making a, a perimeter fence. Things that will make it a little bit better for us too. And let's let's collect some of these. Source egg, finally, awesome. All right, anklo eggs. So these eggs are super important. And we have run up oh, this is spoiled meat. That's good for us because we can put this egg in its place. The eggs in this game are used for kibble. 
And by kibble, I mean exactly what you're thinking of. Like the kind of stuff that you feed to a dog or a cat. In ARC, different dinos have different quality of kibble that they want to actually eat. In the past, it was that they had a different flavor of kibble, but they don't really care so much about what it tastes, um, tastes like, so much more as that they care about um, how it tastes. So, you know, kind of like most people, if you feed them something hot and spicy that tastes like garbage, uh, they're not going to like it. If you feed them something hot and spicy that tastes like filet mignon, uh, if you're into filet mignon, then they're going to love it. It's not the fact that it's hot and spicy that makes them really upset, it's the fact that it tastes like garbage. Same thing for these dinos. That's, a, that's the 580. Ugh. Look at the size of our base, guys. We could build a base that fills this whole thing in now. And we still have a number of things that we need to do before we really go about doing that. Alright. I see a stegosaurus over there. It's 340 as well. But. And this is a butt that I'm using. It is highly possible that we might find a place where we can sort of have an advantage against it. I know Stan's got about 4,000 hit points. And he's about her level. If that was a her, right? Yeah. So, if we were able to do... 4,000 points of damage to this before we, before we die. We could potentially get some prime meat. Well, that's a triceratops egg. You always want to look at the eggs, guys, before you pick them up. Uh, Triceratops and Parasaur eggs, they look very similar. Um, <laughs> Triceratops fighting you and trying to kill you is a lot worse um, than a Parasaur trying to fight you and kill you. Alright. Oh, here's another Triceratops. Oh, there's a couple here. I'm mainly scoping to see if we have any smaller ones. Oh, there's a 60. Alright, this thing's going to have considerably less hit points. Oh, that's what I was, see, that's what I was checking for, though. Because these things are herd animals. They will join forces to try to kill you, so we're not going to mess with that one. We're dehydrated. we got to get some water. Alright, that's fine. We absolutely will get some water. Alright. So this Stego here, we could possibly fight and kill or be killed with I think I might be able to. I don't know. Let's go check on our Trandadon. Fingers crossed it hasn't woken up and flown away on us. Oh, it's a Flapper Raid! Hell, another unicorn. Welcome to the channel. Oh, Ernie, thank you for the raid, man. I. I, I am still very angry with YouTube. Alright, well, this guy's at 66.7, and it's 8 and 2 pieces, so those are just half, half of half of what it was getting beforehand. But welcome to the channel. We are a family-friendly YouTube channel. We stream during the early hours of the morning on the East Coast, 
because like Ernie, the flapper, we are a overnight employee. Feel the me. Hey. Thank you for popping in and saying, hey, man. You streaming that uh, 999 game still? I think that's what the name of it was. Did I say the name wrong? I'm really, really bad with people's names, but I feel like that was the right name. Like... No, I finished what he was doing with that yesterday. Okay. Okay. And YouTube, man. Not... Okay, you gotta go to bed. Alright. Okay. Good night. Thank you for popping in. Really, really thank you. Um, so we're, we're taming a very big Pteranodon on our server. Um, the highest level that you can tame is a 350 without it turning on you. Scenarios you have to do to get the... Tr oh, okay. One of those true ending games. I, I always like those kind of games because they're... It feels like artificial replayability, but it's not exactly artificial replayability. Oh, there's a level 60? Oh. Okay, guys. Off stream and updating on Discord results. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Any, many, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If it kills you, you will die. If the others aggro, you might cry. Oh, I'm so lucky. It can't walk up this incline. Oh my gosh. That's that's beautiful. Give us give us primate. There we go. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Give us that choice cut of meat. Otherwise, you get killed. Oh, that's... Oh, my God, man. That's some pretty awesome stuff. Like, you get off before you... Wow. Yeah, he just dissolved. The The game... The, the game's got a lot of stuff that... When you first start out, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You're like, why, why did he just, like, just poof like that? We're level three now? Oh my gosh. I don't know why. Yeah, I got stabbed in the back with oh man, that's that's pretty brutal. I kinda like it though. I like I like games that kinda go all Game of Thrones on you. have any prerequisites all right so we we have a requirement all right requires six ranks in perks overall okay so we're gonna go ahead and up this let's reset this an axe in the back. Oh, that's kind of neat. Like, like, just however far you get, whatever you do in the game determines how you fail to do the right thing. Uh, it reminds me a lot of, um, of uh, Dragon's Lair. How there's multiple endings for that. If you did the wrong thing at the wrong time. Okay. Have a little bit more of your sleepy juice. Up some more bones. That's a level 80. I feel like we could probably kill a level 80 of these rapidly. Maybe. Okay, this thick brush is always dangerous. Oh, 
Oh no, it's using the bigger ones to, for falls to hide itself now. I've been outsmarted. Oh, there it is. Oh, and we, we panic shot. Oh, here's a... Can we get... Can these now? Yes. Oh my gosh. An oil pump. And rail top saddle. Okay. You got so it knows if you already got one of the required. So interesting. So you actually have to play it multiple times. Is that what I'm understanding? Like since it's recording which endings you've already gotten. Three hundred forty. All right, how are you doing? possible to get true ending on the first playthrough. Okay. Okay, that's... I like it. I I do like that. It's, that's very Ghost and Goblins-like in a sense. But... Does the... Hmm, I'm, I'm trying to think how to word my question. I know what I want to ask, but my brain doesn't know how to say it. Like... You get information on the required fail run. Okay, okay. So on the fail run, like, so you and I, let's just say you and I both play it, and you may not know. I understand that you may not know. So you and I pick up the game, we both play. Are we going to get a, a similar playthrough on our games? Like, is your fail run and my fail run potentially going to be the same? And so our actual good ending is going to be the same as well, I wonder? Or is it more like uh, your fail run, depending upon how you fail, means that your good ending is going to be different than mine? I, I guess I'm asking, yeah, there are six possible endings. Okay. Processing. This time of night, I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure you understand. This time of night for you and me, uh, three battings, three regular endings. Okay. Awesome. So, is there like one true ending, or is it like? So, do the three bad endings correlate with the regular ending? I guess. It's, I think that's probably what I'm. I think that's what it looks like you're saying. Like, there, if you get the knife in the back, there's one trending. We're going to name this Trinidad Blanche. 506, 870, and 288 carry weight. Look at that. Look at that. That is... That's some beautiful stuff right there is what that is. All right. And Blanche is going to follow us back to the pad here. You die before you get the info. Okay. Thanks to the GG sound. We're gonna take Blanche over here. We're gonna go over to George. We're gonna take George's saddle. George. Stamina. Oh. So, alright. And we're going to saddle Blanche. Right, we're going to swirl around here. Okay, so... George and Blanche just chill. And grab that. I've got some, I got some stuff to feed the Blanche. We're going to grab that real quick. Okay, let's see, where are we at on the levels here? 
just into level three a little bit. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I know at some point our level is going to make it high enough to where we can be attacked instead of McAdoo. Uh, McAdoo has been playing again, and she actually was attacked this morning, and she defended herself pretty good. All right, so let's. All right, we're gonna feed you those. Feed you that consumable, and we're gonna up your. Stamina. Look at that. 30 points of stamina each. Alright. All this bonus experience points. How's your hit points looking like? 3620 something or other? Alright. doesn't have the brutal debuff. Interesting. This thing is, is tearing through the world with us. Probably burning any stamina. Oh, what the stun is this? Cool decorative stuff. That's kind of cool. Oh, that looks like a point of interest right there if I ever saw one little monument kind of rock. I better head out. I gotta work tonight. Alright, see you Ernie. I uh I too gotta work tonight. I usually go to bed about 9 30 10 so take care sir. Have a good one. Thank you for the raid. Thanks for popping in. And I will uh maybe we'll catch you screaming later. I heard the experience points. All right, there they are. We're trying to find something that we can heal relatively quickly before we lose our super experience boost. This might do it. Oh, wait a second. We, uh, we made a grave error. I'm pretty sure we made these ankle sources mad. Look at that, we killed one dino, we got three levels. That's what I was looking for. That super experience bonus. Oh, and now we got the brutal debuff. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, howdy! Hello! Who's living here? The alienated peoples. Oh, Turtle Club, it's alienated one's base. Awesome. I knew he was playing. I just didn't know exactly where he put his base at. Man, this thing has got some some wingspan. Oh, we need some food in our stomach. And we know this particular dino won't actually eat the prime meat until it runs out of regular meat, so we're good there. How big a dino are you? You're level 360 carby? Oh, I don't know if this is going to be good or not, but we're going to try. Oh, it's only doing 15 damage to us? Oh, we got this. 
we still got this. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. We got our... You see the stars? That are filling up? Just underneath its actual experience meter? That indicates that it's about to pass out. And we can't have it pass out on us. So we're going to have to do some things. Oh... Trying to run away while our stamina fills up on us. Come on. Oh, you don't need to defecate. Come on, Blanche. Come on, Blanche. Come on. Wait a second, look at this one, it's running away. That's usually a sign that it's close to dead. Or it wasn't just or he just wasn't angry enough, one of the two. Alright, alright, come on. Brandon Allen's got level up. We've still got 2,000 seconds of all the super experience points from those golden eggs. So we got a 280 turtle. We need to make sure we don't drag it toward this third turtle. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't stop. Don't stop. How's the food looking? We're doing good on food. I know this is the weirdest fight we've ever had on this game, guys. <laughs> but Brutals required us to rethink our strategy in a lot of ways. Killed one. We got six levels. Oh my god! It's kind of funny to watch the fight. It's it's weird to be in the middle of this fight. I, I can tell you that without a without any kind of uh, reservation at all. Uh, where did the other turtle go? Level three hundred. All right, and we got another level. Or did or did they? I don't know what's causing this little weird. Delay. Alright. Well, the turtles are a little bit outside of our, our menu at the moment, but we definitely eat some popcorn chicken, right? They still give experience points. Alright. Boy, it's torpor so high though. Let's let's give it some, some stem berries. That'll help its torpor a little bit. We'll drop down a little bit faster. Not much more. A little bit. Okay. Blanche, what are you on? Let's let's go to behavior. Stance attack my target. Alright. Seems good. Wow, 
Wow, that's a Nykthi. I don't like Nykthis. Oh my gosh. That's a 340 XP. Oh my gosh. We, we are going to back way, way, way far away from that. And we're going to pretend like we were not in this in this neighborhood. We, we got to get out of here. But first, a uh, shiny squirrel. Shiny squirrel syndrome. We got bones. So what do we got over here? We got us a turtle. How big a turtle are you? 300. I think we can stab you to death. More importantly, I, th I think we can just watch this fight. Because I don't believe the dinos get the debuff while they are mounted, or while they're not mounted. We did a, a decent sized chunk out of our life, but not too horrible. Yeah, we can only take about 10, maybe 11 hits from this turtle. Meanwhile, Blanche having her 3,000 hit points. I mean, look at this. We got 200 hit points. Blanche is, Blanche is a tank compared to us. We just hope she doesn't wind up hitting this guy. That little 280 would, would mess her up. Oh, this turtle's, turtle's getting better. Actually, let's just shoot it. This is kind of amusing to watch too. It's like the turtle, they're both chasing their tails. It's going down in a couple more hits, guys. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> she got caught on it for a second. blow from it, but I don't want Blanche to die to this thing. She's looking pretty good. I don't see any bloody spots all over or anything. We'll investigate her health after a bit. Level 360. Oh, there we go. Kill the level 300 Carbenimus by itself. Should have some levels up there. Health. Eh, she got beaten up a little bit. Alright. So she is definitely, though, becoming a, a fantastic flyer. Alright. So fly. Very good piece. looking pretty decent. Oh. Look at this. This could be a relatively good place to build a base. It 
it's fairly secluded. The only thing is in Brutal Arc, um, it would kind of wig it out. Is that us? No, nowhere near us. That's them. Okay. kind of see just how we're going to see exactly what our money bought as they say I wonder if we can build a platform base there That was a giant carnivore of some sort for a second, but no, just a brontosaurus burping. All right, so a little bit further to go. in the water. Always got to be careful about that too. There's that kind of pretty rock that we passed by earlier. I mean, she's got some pretty good stamina. I'm really happy with this tame. This is a real good tame in my opinion. We're about to run out of runway though, so we need to over here. Here we go. She's slowly building up her hit points. This I wonder where we can actually put down. I mean, I don't know where there's any oil zones in this map. But that would be really nice to be able to get access to. Usually oil zones are nearby the, the cold areas. a bad little excursion, got a little bit of keratin, got some meat, but more importantly, got some experience points on Blanche. 522, 200 levels higher than George, which, it's not George's fault, George is just itty bitty when we got him. And I like the coloration on both of them. And we can't really see in the dark. Um, or can we? We can see, like, so George has got these red stripes in Blanche. It's got or orange, orange stripes on George and red stripes on Blanche. So if we were to breed off of these two, we would have something in between the two colors. If we don't get any colored mutations. And the resulting level would be in between the two. So it wouldn't be too bad. They're not on follow, right? Okay, not on follow. Let's check how our how's our lemons? Five lemons. And when life gives you lemon seeds, wait hours for lemons. Alright, so let's go down here. 
Let's try not to break a leg when we do it. And that's enough of that. And it's for every X amount of thatch, it's three samples. So we should be good on samples there. All right. Level 340. We know we can take a slightly smaller version of these. 580. We don't want to actually mess with that at all. Where are we at on this? Getting closer and closer to level 4. We may have got ourselves into a, a potential fight. Give the dino all the bones. So this is where we start making some stuff. So every 10 bones gets us a piece of jerky. So if getting some problems. Uh, they could get to jerky. Uh, they get 25 jerky for for one bone or for one stack of 10 bones. So that's actually really good. What else can we get? Focal chili, enduro stew, uh, Kalian suit, free curry, and Lazarus chowder. So this is like the water breathing chowder so there's some really good things here for people that are just starting out if they, if they can at least get their starter base going uh, speaking of stuff like that we have all this extra fertilizer I feel like put these berries and lemons away put the meat away Quite the boon getting that oil pump as soon as we know where we get oil pumps put down at. We'll be all over that. We need to start kind of separating these out, but organizing on stream, no one wants to sit here and watch us do that. I barely want to sit here and do it, so let's just put some stuff away. Those. Uh, we did come down here to get some seeds. Stinberry seeds. Tribe menu, pulsed out again. See the purifications, there's been seven on this server. We've earned three perks, we've spent our three perks. But seven times some, some tribe has gotten the short in the stick. And I feel. I feel that it is very possible that we will be getting close to that soon. Alright. So we do have some narco berries growing here. We're going to put some stem berries in this plant. Because we're going to need that eventually for some stuff. Alright. And I'm just going to put these seeds here. We actually need to put all of our seeds up here. Okay, I know guys, I said, ah, you're not going to have to sit and watch me organize, but I am so ADD addled in the head that we, we got to get this going. And there's a possibility that these seeds, this, this, this chest, is going to be um, accessible by people. So, if you're watching stream, then you might know what the actual seeds are and how to get into them. That's perfectly fine. If someone's watching our stream and they get how to get into here, we're okay with that. Um, if someone guesses it, more power to them. It's, you know, pretty high up their code, number-wise. But just anyone who hasn't watched it, though, they won't be able to tell what it is. All right. Sixty feet on me. All right, so level three forty. All right, so we took we took uh, we took pledge pretty good distance. 
found we had some stuff over there. I, I think that what we're going to do is we're going to start kind of building this out. I feel like we need to do that. And as much as I want to move away from the water, I don't feel like we have that opportunity. Because we need water for our garden. Hmm. Alright. So... Crafting, let's see here. It's a... Uh, wall. Not wall. Wall. And we have large wooden walls. As high as four normal walls. Um, this was added in the the uh, homestead update. You'll notice that it takes 40 wood, 7 and 10, but the large one is 28, 40, and 160, so you're not saving any materials. All you're saving when you use this is, and it's funny, uh, you're saving server resources. And as the server owner, um, thankfully through arcservers.io, our hosts, our sponsors, we are pretty minded on what we use to craft some stuff with. berries because we don't have any meat on us and I see our little food meter going down so let's just kind of munch on these great that we've got a choke point, but it's good that the wood's the choke point because it's the easiest thing to get. Now one thing to reiterate in this particular game, on the Brutal Arc mod, there is a stat called Threat. And threat is assessed by a number of things. Uh, first thing is your environmental threat. And environmental threat is gained when you destroy natural resources. So every time we harvest a tree, every time we pull a bush, every time we break up stone, we are gaining environmental threat. And the other threats that you gain in this game is tactical threat. And that is based upon the size of your base. The bigger your base, the more things you have constructed, the more threat you get. The next threat is called wealth. And that's actually based upon the items you have in your tribe's inventory. So if you just have some extra spare parts laying around for your base, that adds to your wealth. And that means that it adds to your tribe's threat. So that's strategy is the size of your base. Environmental is by the destruction you cause in the area. Wealth is by the things you have. One of the other traits you get is called husbandry. And the husbandry is based upon the animals you have tamed. Right now we got four animals, their levels kind of all play into that. Uh, the final thing, I'm, I'm trying to remember, I know there's five of them in total. It's been a while since I've looked at the wiki for it. 
Uh, let's see here. We need foundations. Specifically, we're looking for stone fence foundations. We're actually stone foundation. All right. Let's let's. Is there a large stone wall? There sure it's not is. Ah. Trying to figure out how we want to build this. How do we build this? Guess one thing we could do is replace all the wood with stone and then put a nice kind of chewy wood shell on the outside, but I don't think that really helps. So So thatch looks like it's become our choke point along with fiber. So we get some thatch over this way. We know we want to delay the enemies from getting close. Just trying to figure out how we do that. We did all that and forgot to get fiber. Hold on, let's go get some fiber. flatter area to defend, it'd be a little bit easier. I kind of feel like I almost wish I built the base right here. A little flatter ground. A little wide opener. might be what we wind up doing. Ugh. We might wind up building us our base right here. Where the ground is a little bit more flat. Not as healy. As much as it pains me, I think that's really what we gotta do. things first. We're going to build us a claim block. And we're going to see how this claim block works for us. Okay. Not bad. 
bad. Right, so I kind of want to go back a little bit so we kind of get some water access, like water mount access, but not really. Okay, so I think we're, we're good there. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and craft some foundations. Looks like we can make 11 of those. We'll see what that gets us. Now one thing, Brutal Arc, fresh out the box. Brutal Arc only allows you the space to build one base. You only get one claim patch. On our server, we do have it to where every um, the tribe can get three permanent claim blocks and the reason for that is so you can have an outpost so you can have a main base and so you can have a temporary base while you're basically rebuilding your main base which is basically what we're doing right now so we're going to adjust this bottle to wood so it looks really good all right Since we're doing this the way we want to do it, there's a few other things we can do differently. Alright. Hmm. So let's... Alright, there we go on that. One, two, three, four. Those are four tiles wide. I wonder if we were to build a ceiling where that would get us. And actually hold the phone. Uh, pick this up. Pick this up. Wait, 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 wait. We need more foundations for what we're kind of wanting to do. And all of our foundations are in this space that's over there. Uh, we leveled up to level four. Oh my gosh. Um, adjust claim area. Increase size to 16. 17. We are s got a bigger claim area now, even. All right. Um... So let's go ahead and pick our wall sign up. Pick the wood wall up. Uh, we're going to pick up the reward vault. Pick up those buddy clubs that we've been saving for who knows why. Pick our door up. Our door frame. And I feel like oh, I want to pick up this wood ladder. We can pick up this. Four. All right. We're gonna pick up this door. Pick up this door frame. Pick up this sign. Wood wall. Wood ceiling. Oh, George. That was not becoming. All right, and that's the only we can grab. This only we can grab. That up. If you notice, the dinosaurs—they really don't understand gravity. Junction box. Oh, 
though, we want the junction box. There we go. Got the cable. Uh, we want to access the inventory and take all that. And we're going to pick up the power generator. Sweet. And now we can pick up this wall. Can we carry all that? No, we sure can't. How bad is it? It's pretty bad. Alright, there we go. We can pick up the storage though. Alright. And we can pick up this ladder because we don't need to worry about it. Alright, so the garden plots, unfortunately, they're going to be the last thing to come down. But they're also going to mean that we're going to lose some resources. So we're okay with that for the most part. Inventory. Open box. Place that right there. So much of this stuff we're going to store over there for right now. Okay, get us that. have to, I don't know, we're going to have to, we're going to have to evict those neighbors, that's for sure. Alright, this is our claim blocks, this is our center. Alright. For right now, we're going to adjust this model to stone, just so we can see where it's at. up this refrigerator. We're going to pick up our gravestone. Pick up our bed. Pick up the upgrade station. Grab those materials. We're still good. We're going to pick up this wooden hatch frame. Alright. Oh! I didn't mean to do that. And it still happened anyways. Ugh. That's a waste of materials. It's an unfortunate waste of materials. Alright, that's what we get for trying to be thrifty. Now we're going to pick up this thread suppressor. Which is not the brightest thing that we've done. But not the worst thing we've done before. And... Pick up this wooden wall, pick up this wooden wall, pick up this floor, alright, alright, so we are going to adjust how we're doing our wooden floors for a second, just for those that are especially not the best. Okay. Good. Alright, so we got some more walls. Ceiling, a trapdoor. Actually, let's just shove it all over there for right now, shall we? At least we got some materials back out of it. We're gonna lose that wall up there again. Oh well. We're perfectly fine with that for the most part. Four. So normally we would have a quality of life mod. Um, S plus is the big one. And we'd be able to convert all this over 
down so much as just blinking. But we don't, so we can't. So we do. We got that wooden wall, pick up that wooden wall. We still need this path to go over there. I think we can pick up this wood ceiling. Yep, good. Pick up that wood ceiling. And wall. And wall. Grab all the food. Are we over encumbered? We sure are. Put all the food back. Are we okay? Sorta. Alright. That did restack some stuff for us, though. We can't pick that piece up. We can't pick that up because it's our claim block. Um. Sure, it's not. Can't do that. What about these bones? Are we, are we over and covered up with bones? No, we're not. Okay. Cover exchanger. Come on, monkey. You're coming with us. And speaking of stuff that we really need to get put down real fast. Menu. See the threat's kind of spiking a little bit. It's reactivating the perk for us. We want to turn it off and turn it back on just in case it does something weird. Alright. And. Where's our monkey at? Where's our monkey? Here's the bones back monkey. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight foundations. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight windows also. So four times eight's two eighty, so we just need uh, some thatch and some fiber. Some wood and some sap. Alright, and fiber we just get from these bushes. Ooh, there's some bones right there. Alright, so let's go for foundations. We really need more than that. More than the more than the windows right off. Brontosaurus. Oh my gosh. Oh, Turtle Club. If we had more than 10 minutes in this morning's stream, I would so be honry. It's all the wood. I'm starving. A lot of wood out there. All right, let's get to our primary base that we're disassembling. Get 
get us some meat out of it. Get us some meat. Get us some water. Alright, and... Craft us some foundations. We can make five. That's awfully going to be close to what we need. foundation quick and finish off the foundations here I do know we have some extra foundations of course in the other base as far as once we get them all pulled up and whatnot it's just so much faster to do this spot. Alright, so we got all that. We need fiber. So for defense reasons, we're going to put these windows in the base, and we're going to make something similar. We're going to do like an outer ring out of stone, is our, is our expectation. So we're going to do like a crunchy outer shell and a, a chewy wood center, like we kind of joked about earlier. I uh, wasn't exactly joking. Alright, and... This will... Okay. Wooden walls. I think here's a wooden wall. I think there's a wooden wall. The corners will get wooden walls as well. This thing keeps tattling on us when we do things. All the time. All the time. in here. Nope. Door frames. We're going to put those at the front of the base and at the rear entrance. thing up. Move it to this corner. Because what we would like to do is if we ever have to bolt <laughs> and use our base for leverage, because we want to be able to bolt straight through our base and get out. One, two, three, four, four windows, five windows. Not really. We got some, oh, we got some stuff we gotta get out of our inventory, like, badly. Alright, so 
so window. Hey, we got a full entire wall done. Hot fudge. Alright, and the ceilings we don't have needed yet. Alright, alright. The Ginny. Okay, so the Ginny we can get, the Fabby we can get, this we can get, that we can get. I'm doing some minor bartering at this point. So we can juggle some stuff around. You know, the fiber we need for building stuff as oh we had some wood extra. Just make it sit there doing nothing. Okay. And there's some walls that have just been sitting there doing nothing. Okay, so let's So there we go with the, the base floor. Pretty uh, basic, but it's a base. Oh no, 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 we didn't want to mail another window. Get away with that. Go away. Go away. Start covering this in ceiling now. Um, okay. Yeah, and Or we want it to be in the middle. Excellent. Alrighty. What's our inventory looking like? Okay, we got all this kind of stuff that we really don't need to have in our inventory. Let's. Serving bin. Is this burning just to burn? It is. We're gonna, well, might as well light it back. It's got only two pieces of wood in it. in it. We got a mushroom. 
I didn't even realize we had a mushroom. That's just how bad I've been at keeping my inventory, guys. Alright. And... Can I just put the stuff in there for now? Except for the Auto Rewards Vault. that off the ceiling so in case we get damage on the outside walls it's not going to take out our fault. Alright. What's your inventory looking like? Yeah, it's looking okay. We need to craft ceilings. Lots and lots of wood. Here we go. And Turtle Club, we normally would end the stream at 9 o'clock, but we've really got this space that we got to get finished. So we're going to throw a little bit over, possibly 10, maybe 20 minutes. That's going to give us seven ceiling tiles. That'll almost do the ceiling for us. And then we got to get a, a whole entire uh, ten more wall tiles. And then we just cross our fingers that we don't get selected for the, the uh, grand prize of being attacked next weekend. first. When you do weird overlaps like this, you want to do walls first and ceilings afterwards. I don't know why. It just makes it a lot easier. So we need 10 wall pieces. Which we can make some walls. Okay. Well, by some, I mean one. So that's better than zero. Alright. Looks like it's still wood, so here we go. I think we might be okay on walls now. Oh, no, we need eight, nine. And we need just enough for one more. Okay. I did not do math right. Okay. So we now will have our walls. Ceiling tile template, put it there. Grab our ceiling tile inventory, put it there. Ah, no. Pick that ceiling tile up. My SD would not allow it. I don't know why it allowed it here for a second. Anywhere 
else that my OCD just did not kick in. All right, one, two, three, plus four, seven. Seven, but we're gonna chop this stuff up just to be sure. Yep, that's why we chopped it up because we didn't count right again. Okay. Now we got seven, so now this right here will actually be the the, the base. Going to be the defenses. The defenses will have to build later. And there's a chance that we may just build them off camera. But this is our base. Um, well, almost. Actually, it's trap. We don't know how to make a trap door. A wooden trap door. There we go. We need wood. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put a wooden trap door on. But Turtle Club, we are we're definitely done for the day. We are going to be calling it quits. I just want to say thank you for everybody who came in this watch today. Sally for coming in, Kenny the Deal Kid, and then on Flappers uh, raid we had Helena the Unicorn as well as Flapper himself. Thank you all for coming in to watch today. I know building streams aren't always the most exciting to watch. We did get a little bit of exploration. We did have a little bit of danger. We had the really weird turtle fight. I, I don't even know what to call that. But we are going to be calling it quits here, guys. Thank you for coming out and hanging with us. Um... Yeah, that, that opens up the way we need it to. Awesome. But yeah, the Turtle Club, I'm going to have a good night in a little bit. I'm going to work on getting the this moved over and laying out the internals. You all have a good morning, good breakfast, good lunch, good dinner. And whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, this is Max Synchro saying lots of dinosaurs. Have a good one. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care.